Students can already screencast using the Screencastify extension in Chrome, but Screencastify Submit is a new option that creates a link that students can use to record and submit videos to you. No Chrome extension is required, and those videos are neatly collected right in your Google Drive. To try it, go to screencastify.com and choose Products. Submit. If it's still in beta, choose Request Early Access, which typically takes less than 24 hours. Once you've received an email with your confirmation, you'll create new assignments at app.screencastify.com slash submit. This address will also be included in your confirmation email. Choose new assignment and enter your assignment details. Click next and set the recording type, which can be screen and microphone, which is ideal for what I want since the visuals on the screen are a key element for students' presentations. Alternately, you can choose webcam and microphone if it's more important to capture the visual of the student as they present or speak. Enable or disable the email notification that lets you know when a submission has been made and decide if you want students to be able to view each other's submissions. If you leave it as off, only you, the teacher, can view student submissions. Click Next, and that's it. Simply copy this link to post in your Schoology or Google Classroom course or on your website. And when I click Done, I can see the assignment listed in my assignments, and I can copy the link here too if I need it later. Let me switch to Student View. Students will click on the Screencastify assignment link. I'll just paste it in here. This will prompt them to sign in with their Google account if they are not already signed in. And students will not need to install any extensions. They will simply choose Turn on Mic and Allow Access when prompted by Chrome. Students should then open their presentation or any other visuals that they want to use during that presentation in a new tab. And when they're all set up and ready, they just go back to their Screencastify tab and click Record. Students will select the screen thumbnail that they want to share. Typically, screen one is the only choice. And if there was a video or audio included in the presentation itself that they wanted to share, they can put a check in this box. Students get a five second countdown, which gives them a chance to switch to their presentation tab if they want. And a note at the bottom lets them know they are recording, as does this icon. For Google presentations, if students are planning to go full screen, it's definitely best if they choose hide on this message or sometimes the stop recording is triggered when they go full screen by mistake. After that, students can enter present mode and begin presenting. When they're done, they go back to their Screencastify recording tab and choose stop. Notice they also have an option to start over if their first attempt didn't go so well. And similarly, after they click stop, they will get a preview of their recording and can also choose to start over or submit it. Once submitted, students can download their own submission, share it to Google Classroom, or view other students' submissions. Clicking on that will take them to the Drive Collection folder where each student's submission is collected, and then can be opened by double-clicking on it. It can take a few minutes for each video to be processed so that it is viewable on Drive. From your instructor panel, you'll see the status of the assignment and number of submissions. You can use the three dots to close the assignment so that new submissions are not accepted, or to edit the assignment details. If you click on the submission, you'll be taken to your Drive folder where all those submissions are housed. To make it easier for students to view each other's submissions, if that's something you want, I also recommend creating a shareable link to this folder and posting that in your online platform so students can get back here easily, especially after you close the assignment to new submissions. Screencastify Submit is still in beta, but seems to be a great option for streamlined screencast and webcam video submissions from students.